morning, party people. Welcome back to The Breakdown with Johnny. Holding down the fort while Nathan is in Italy on his honeymoon, uh, belated honeymoon. Congratulations to the lovebirds. Um, I'm going to check out a band that we absolutely love, and this track has been out for a, a few days now. And somehow, for some reason, we slept on it, but we absolutely love this band. Magnolia Park Shallow. I hope they don't think we're shallow for skipping out on this one, but I'm going to do it because, like I said, love this band. Uh, We were lucky enough to catch them on the Good Things run uh, multiple times. Absolutely lovely, legendary dudes doing some really cool shit in the space of um, like pop punk and alternative rock and like metalcore crossover sort of stuff. You, You really can't pigeonhole this band. So, if you've never listened to them before and you're just here hoping that I basically end up spontaneously combusting uh, because I'm stressed, because I'm taking care of everything by myself, you still might see that. Let, let's be real. You might actually get that. Um, and I'll, I'll go down, like, fantastically. I'll go down in a glorious bowl of fl- flames. So, but at least you'll get some sick tunes as well. Uh, yeah, Magnolia Park is definitely a band that should be on your radar if they're not already. Uh, hey, and if it's your first time here, I hope you enjoy it. Usually Nathan's with me. Uh, he's much more masculine than me. He's a little bit younger. He's definitely not as funny though. So it's just hard to be funny when you're by yourself. Uh, tell that to every single stand-up comedian. I'm an idiot. Anyway, uh, gonna get into this one. So like and subscribe. Please follow the socials, do all that sort of stuff. We are so close to that 100k mark and we've got so much cool shit coming up. We want you guys to be a part of it. Uh, And we want that shiny little trophy thing that YouTube gives you. I don't know how to put a shiny little trophy here. I'm not the editing guy, but I'm going to do my best anyway. So, there. Uh, Magnolia Park, shallow. Let's get going. This one is going to be sick. I mean, I don't want to call it, but it's definitely got those Bring Me The Horizon vibes. And I'm totally here for it. I'm okay with it. Dude's got such a sick voice. Smooth as hell. Super catchy, massive pop sensibilities. Yeah, so I know I started off with hearing the little production elements in there and the style of the riff with the double kick in there, like the syncopation, thinking it had a bit of a bring me vibe, but it definitely doesn't. Moving forward through the song, there's there's none of that. Uh, so, like, not that that's a bad thing either. Uh, I'm just going to say that it's good and not dig myself into a hole any deeper. But, yeah, it it's really catchy. This one has, like... Like I said, massive pop sensibilities. I can almost hear like, like kind of somewhere between a band like Dayseeker and Our Last Night because it, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm off the mark. That's the vibe I'm getting um, this far into the song, which is a whole minute. So let's keep going. I do love that syncopation though. That's rad. Cool tone on his vocal there. They're all super stylish dudes too. Like that almost chorusy effect on the guitar riff there. A little sneaky stick trick there. I'm such a sucker for showbiz or showmanship. Even that shit when they point it like a gun. 
shooting you in the face with riffs. Bit of a hot head. Drum production is cool. It's got a little bit of a sneaky Deftones vibe to it there. Which is also not a bad thing. There's some tasty little fills in this too. It's like nothing super over the top but it just fits real well. I like the clip too. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's that uh, note that makes you... Whoa! All right. Is there something else coming? That has me excited, because I know they do like a screamy boy. Ooh, that's going to be very excited. Gave me a little shiver when he did that. You're tricking me. Really good stuff. Yeah, look, this band is really cool. Uh, I dig them. That, that song was, like, I know I've talked about uh, when, a, when a band is, is kind of safe with a song on the channel before, and it, it leaves me wanting more. There's also a safety where it's, it just hits all the right like points for you personally. And for me, that one hit all the right points because I really enjoyed how the production was really beefy and it had edge to it. And his vocals have a little bit of edge to it, even when they're nice and clean, just with his delivery. Um, and the production had edge to it as well. So when it hit those massive pop sensibilities for me personally, the shallow, shallow, da -da 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 -da, like that's a, that's a vocal melody that could be used on a, a Taylor Swift song, you know, for argument's sake. But when you mix something like that with, you know, a well-written, edgy, like still massively guitar-driven song, it just, sometimes it just comes off perfectly and I just kicked the camera damn it uh and yeah that that worked really well I enjoyed that very much um I also really liked the music video and it was kind of like a bluish tone so I'm pretty impressed with myself that I just happened to perchance choose blue lighting to go with that uh what did you guys think of of Shallow, uh, Shallow by Mag Park. Have you checked out the band before? If not, I do strongly suggest uh, checking them out. They're also really, really good live, really entertaining, uh, put on a really wild show, which is, which is always fun. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me as always, and I shall see you in the next video. Adios, amigos.